All right, it is Thursday, February 4th, I believe, and I am finally out for a hike. I'm so stoked, it's been forever. At any rate, I'm planning to do a 56 mile route around the city of Redlands and hiking all of the Redlands Conservancy's 40 plus miles of trail in and about town. Today, I'm doing North Redlands. I'm currently on the Orange Blossom Trail, so, uh, this is one of the heritage trail alignment. Yeah. It's 8.30. I got 21 miles to do today. But most of the terrain is flat. But I haven't walked more than five miles in a really long time in one shot. So we'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. I got a new dress. What up? I got new kicks. Check it out. So happy to be back out here. Let's have some fun. This little stream is not usually here. I think this might be the Zonhar. Some people call it the Sankey River. I'm not sure, I'll look it up after because I just started up guy. But there's a dock. Dude, there's supposed to be ducks out here. That's awesome. There's two of them. He's got a girlfriend. How exciting. All right, so far this is pretty fun. We got a little waterfall action this morning. This is the Mill Creek Sanha or Sankey or however they pronounce it. We'll just call it Mill Creek. That'll be easier. Although those two do split off at some point, I'm pretty sure. But this is cool. I've never been over here before. Oh, an interesting part of town. An industrial area to the left. Orange groves for which this town was originally made famous to the right. Yeah, right, apparently ducks here is a thing. They're all over the place. This place is lousy with ducks. <laughs> it's like duck central. Eesh. Well, found the local dump. Yikes. This part of the Orange Blossom Trail is pretty nice right now, like walking through the ESRI campus, which typically you can't get into if you're in a vehicle, but it's a uh, bike and walking here. It's all quiet. I imagine virtually everybody at this company is telecommuting. It is a tech company after all, but uh, man, they've made their campus really nice. Very cool. But they appreciate that in the summer when it's like 112 here. Mm. So far it's been a beautiful morning. These eucalyptus trees smell amazing. I'm at Jenny Davis Park. It looks like the Orange Blossom Trail doesn't actually pass through the park. It's a shame. It's a really nice park. Got picnic benches, a bathroom, but apparently the uh, Orange Blossom Trail actually continues on the south side of Mill Creek, which is just there. So I just wanted to come and check this park out a little bit, see what's going on. Nobody's about. Hey, yep, here it is. So there's Jenny Davis Park, it's a little pocket park. And this is the trail attached to some large parking lot for I'm not sure what, probably ESR also. ESR is a huge company. If you've ever done any work with online mapping, GIS, you've probably definitely used some project product developed by ESRI, which is headquartered here in Redlands. As it turns out, I could have walked through the park. I didn't know this bridge was here. Definitely would have been nicer than walking that. It's a small park, but whatever. The more you can be off of this, the better off you are. Random trail find. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I didn't even know this was back here. It's kind of jungly. Oh, that's a cool bridge I did not realize existed. Neat. You know, like a lot of weird trash on the side of this trail. 
so far I've seen two piles of cookies and like a bunch of other random snack stuff. But the two piles of cookies, like they were just out on the side of the trail. No packaging, just a pile of cookies. They look like somebody dumped them there this morning. And then don't buy the cheap cookies. So Redlands Boulevard in Texas is where the west side of the Orange Blossom Trail ends. And you proceed on the Orange Blossom Connector, which I think is actually longer than the Orange Blossom Trail itself. At any rate, this basically walks you pretty much right through town. It's cool. So I thought I was gonna be able to visit my brother since I'm walking like right by his house, but he's not even home. Oh dear, oh dear. I gotta change my socks. These socks I'm wearing keep slipping into my shoes. I haven't even done two miles yet. And I'm already feeling a little bit hot spots because my socks won't stay up. So I'm gonna hunker down in my brother's garage and fix that. All right, so the orange trail connector that I had mapped out in Gaia. That was the orange trail connector. Apparently it's not on the ground. Which is weird because they definitely take you out of the way. It's not the most direct way to get to the other side. Kind of like the Georgia Pinotti Trail. I think they want to swing you by some stuff they want you to see on the road. And uh, I think this trail is definitely made for people on bicycles and not people on foot. A lot of sidewalk walking, which is not the best for your body. But I think they want you to walk by the new by the under construction Museum of Redlands. And that's why they have you go this louder, longer way. That's gonna be the Museum of Redlands. Right now, this is a really loud mess. And this uh, connector trail takes you out of the way. Man, they must have known that this was gonna be coming at some point. Cause that Museum of Redlands is an entirely new concept. Here we have Triangle Park. You can even see this on the map. Probably because it consists of just a couple shaded benches and a nice planter. I am so hungry. I didn't eat breakfast before I got started because I wasn't hungry then. I had a cup of coffee and that was it, but like, oh, this was Jack in the Box. There's McDonald's right there, Del Taco. Although I don't think I care for Del Taco right now. Just been walking around the town. Really no place to hit a facility in case there's an emergency. Mmm. But oh my god. I guess I'll dig into the dried berries I brought. <sighs> Whatever. It's already hazy. It's not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet. That in front of us is the San Bernardino Mountains, San Gorgonio Peak. Call it Grayback also. Pretty self-explanatory, why? Mm. And then I think San Bernardino Peak to the right. I don't remember these mountains actually, but definitely know the San Gorgonio one. Oof, I can barely see them. This is horrible. We need to improve our environment. I've been getting bad air alerts virtually every single day for the last six months except for the two days it was pouring that's crazy how are people supposed to live in this all right i am now to the east east side of the orange blossom trail this is actually a rail to trail bed that's been converted into what is now it looks like a nice decomposed granite surface so that'll be a lot easier than the sidewalk I was on. It's kind of a cool place. It's on, uh, this starts on Grove Street in between Citrus and Golden Avenues, uh, sort of near the University of Redlands. There are several parking spots. Oh, hey, where are they? I haven't done this in so long. Parking spots, bin, and a lot more nice flat surface to walk upon. At any rate, I'm gonna kick it here for a minute. I'm waiting for a friend of mine to come and join me. I think she's gonna walk with me through the rest of this Orange Blossom Trail and then also the Zanha Trail 
um, coming back a westbound. So it'll make it like a little X. <sighs> All right, well, I guess I'll sit. Hey, this is cool. Nice little murals here. I've never been down here before. But I'm gonna spruce up a wall. Ah, make it a day on, not a day off. That's gonna be today all day. All right, so we are approaching the end of the Orange Blossom Trail. Nice, I believe that's Laramie Park in front of us. Another small pocket park in the city of Redlands. Mm, so we're gonna turn south at this road and then uh, go back to do the uh, Zanha or Sankey or however, Z-A-N-J-A -A trail, that trail. Luckily it's short, so we don't have to say that very often. Listen to all those bees. Can you hear them? Like I can zoom in on them visually, but I can't zoom in on them audio. But these trees are full of bees. But luckily they're staying up there. This is actually Crafton Park. I thought it was Laramie Park, but look at this. Picnic benches. It's probably a nicer place to be in like the winter because I don't think that all of these picnic tables are probably out of the sun most of the time. All of soccer field, play area, bathrooms. Nice. We're going to cut through this park and head over to the uh, Z-A-N-J-A trail. <laughs> All right. So I had to, I had to phone a friend. I had to call, call an expert on Redlands pronunciations because I have heard people call this ditch basically the Sankey, but it's spelled Z-A-N-J-A, which if you are speaking in proper Spanish is Sanja. So apparently either way is acceptable. I don't even know where you get Sankey from Z-A-N-J-A. It's kind of like, how do you get Colonel from colonel but whatever that's a topic for another day and anyway we are at, now i'm going to be doing the sanha trail back towards sylvan park they have a parking area here it looks like to uh a little turnaround which is kind of cool because these are all basically like a bunch of these trails out here like rail to trail so that's kind of like a nice nod to the old trail turnarounds that you find in a lot of rail yards and anyway this looks really nice let's get on the other side of the fence all right, this is cool. They have historic markers on this trail. This is number 14, first one we've seen. So this is not a long trail, so I can't imagine there are 14 markers on it, I'm told by my resident expert on this particular trail. Well, I saw to find a friend to find out how to pronounce it, so I mean, I'm just saying. Just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> well, apparently there are only four of these on this trail, so I'm not sure where the rest are. I guess that'll be a question I um, ask the Redlands Conservancy later because it is one of their projects. Really nice trip. Apparently I'm doing a horrible job of paying attention because either there is no 15 on this trail or I missed it. Anyway. Here's your historic barbed wire fence. Oh, and a berm. Historic berm. <gasps> There's some historic piles of stuff over there too. Actually, that does look kind of like a historic house way back there. There are some cool places in this town, like architecture wise. Apparently, there's a restoration show on DIY Network that's mostly filmed in this town because there are examples of virtually every kind of architect in this town. I say for one and I don't remember what that one is because I'm not an architect. So, you know. Oh, hey, here's 15. So I just got them out of order a little bit. Interesting. A flood register. Mainly it's, well, it's a ditch. Mm-hmm. We knew that. That's actually Sank Year and Sanha means ditch in Espanol. So this is Laramie Park. This is the park I remember, a little par pocket park. It's actually a little bit bigger than I thought it was, but I definitely remember the little pocket park type. Here, really all you have for amenities is the play area. It's meant mainly meant to be a, a neighborhood park for the people that live in this neighborhood. All right, well, this is a 
another historic marker. I'm surprised that that old trestle bridge that I passed over by ESRI didn't have a marker like this because that definitely was a, a historic thing. These are old rail bridges, but uh, you know, it's historic and all, but definitely not as much or as interesting to look at as that old uh, trestle bridge was. That one was cool, that iron bridge. All right, so I was wrong. This park has all kinds of amenities. They have interpretive signage. Like, this is rad. So apparently we're really close to the end of a rail line that came out to Redlands, which is east of Los Angeles. But as the crow flies, it's only like, I don't know, actually as the freeway flies, it's only like 56, like 60 miles from here. But apparently they made it into a whopping almost 168 mile rail line to give people, doubtless, the scenic view in between LA and here. And on closer inspection, it's actually a figure eight. How cool. It says no scene twice seen except for, oh, if you got to go on this train ride, you got to see San Bernardino twice. I mean, like virtually nobody wants to do that today. Maybe back then it was a lot nicer. I don't know. Gotta hope so. And I wonder if this tree got struck by lightning or something. It's like literally the only thing that has been on fire within view. And there's definitely something going on down here. There's like a helicopter circling the air. We saw an ambulance just blaze by, which is a surprise. Usually it's cops. Hmm. At least we're walking away from the scene, as far as I can tell, but it's loud as hell out here. Don't these people know there's a pandemic going on? You're supposed to be at home. All right, we're passing through part of the University of Redlands campus. It's the Greek theater right there. It's actually where I graduated from college, my undergrad. Good old U of R Bulldog with a, uh, a school shout song that I, I don't remember, but I know that has the word Yahoo in it. It's really nice out here. It's nice to like see some of this stuff that I haven't seen in a really long time, see it from the road and not a car all tired because I'm showing up late to class or whatever. It's been nice. All right, we're now in Sylvan Park, which is uh, on the north side of Redlands, it's like right in the vicinity of the University of Redlands. This is a really popular park for picnicking. I mean, check this out. Picnics for all my friends. Gazebo. There used to be a 4th of July thing here. There's also, I think, three bathroom facilities in this park. It's not even a very big park, but it's an incredibly popular park. Um, that's just sort of a, a great place for people on the north side of Redlands and University of Redlands students to come and hang out. Lots of old growth trees and, uh, you know, which is nice, especially in the summer because it does definitely get up in well into the 100 degrees uh, range in this town in the summer. Uh, you guys, I'm backtracking through Sylvan Park. Ooh, they have soap in the bathroom. That was so nice. I was, I was just happy it was open, frankly. I'm backtracking because I saw a plaque and a marker. Or actually, they were pointed out to me by my friend Christine, who is joining me for a few miles this afternoon. This is awesome. Like, I'm about a third of the way through. It's about 11.30 or so. Nice, but yeah, here we got the, we are on the Santa Ana River watershed. I'll actually be walking up to another trail, the Bluffs Trail, here shortly, um, that actually walks with a view of the Santa Ana River wash. So I'll be interested to see if there's any water in it. Like, I kind of gotta imagine there is because there's a ton of snow up on the mountain right now and it's starting to warm up. But anyway, I, I backtracked for that. And then, well, you know, here's a historic bridge. Where's the historic marker? That's clearly historic. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. And then that, I backtracked for, I backtracked for signs. Will work for signs. All right, so Christine pointed out to me this, what would have been a stall site. I would have never known that it was here. <laughs> this was walking over there and it's built into this rock. At any rate, hey, I didn't need to call a friend, phone a friend or get the appropriate pronunciation because there it is right there. Affectionately called Sankey by locals. I have no idea why. It's probably because they were not Latinos, but I do like this part because it has all these historic, uh, 
like cut rock or river rock, river stone bridges over the little creek. She doesn't have anything in it right now, except for some trash. Oh, that was a soccer ball. Soccer ball and trash. Mm. This is one of my favorite parks, actually. And I, I do, they have a skate park here now, right on. That's probably super fun in July. But these picnic tables here are probably the best, some of the best in the park to hang out if you feel like picnicking in August. There's also a covered picnic area. Looks like maybe there's some barbecue over there too. A playground for a walk over there, but I've done enough backtracking for one day. <laughs>